Okay, I figured something else out. Good morning. This is Ed Titus 2. And you know, I've been having a problem with Daytona. So I got the link system working. And I've been watching this guy's YouTube video, as you can see. He's got the Thrustmaster working. And as you can see, I'm on my projector screen. Excuse me, unless I'm still working on my home theater. He's got analog. First, he's got, he checked the box steering. He checked the gas. He checked the brake. Now, it says Joy 1. And I thought about that for a second. Because when I use mine, mine's come up as Joy 3. Okay. And and he's got one X axis steering, two throttle invert, three brake, one Joy One Y axis invert. And as you can see he has all his shifters done. So you watch that video, right? And then I and then I read something on the forms. Let me go back over here. You know, excuse my mess, my little man cave, bar, pool table, etc. It's a mess down here, you know. We all stuck in the house. So I read something and it said that Model 2 has a bug where it only allows you, it doesn't see multiple USB inputs. And I got up this morning, I was thinking about that. And I'm having the, my smoke and my coffee. I do smoke cigars. And it occurred me, it occurred to me to go inside command um, panel and delete my Xbox controller any other game controller except my wheel and my shifter. And lo and behold, it worked. So let me show you. Let me put down my cigar. Sorry about, sorry about this, folks. I got a mess. I'm trying to figure things out. So, like I said, go into command panel and, and delete your Xbox controller. Anything except your wheel and your shifter. I know that's a pain in the ass, but you're going to have to do it. So, let's go. First, you know you got to load the ROM. Go into Daytona. Load Daytona USA. Wait, but let's pause for a second before we load that. Let's look over here in the command. Inside the file, you know what I'm talking about. X input equals zero. Make sure you take that one off and put it to zero. That'll shut off Xbox support. Make sure you do that. Now let's go back over here. Daytona, USA. Click. All right. So you know I got it as master because I'm running, I'm, I'm testing out more than one, the link system. Go into game, config. Now, as you can see, nothing. I'm gonna check all three boxes. Check all three boxes. You see I'm in Daytona. Let's double click. You see Thrustmaster 500 RS gear shift switch. Thrustmaster 300. It sees it now. So now you know that I've been scratching my head over this bullshit for the last couple days. Excuse my language. But every time I get up in the morning and I reset and I have some time to think about it, then wake up, I find a way to fix the solution. So now I got the last key, key component on how to set up the controls 
All that's left now to do is to build the four cabinets for just, I just want to have an arcade link system with just racing games. So this is the last point. So I know for each for each computer that I'm going to build, I'm going to have to have, make sure everything is within Joy 1, Joy 2, no other inputs in there. So that's my update. I just wanted to show that it worked. Let's go down here. And as you can see, you can see all the stuff that was missing before. I can now see it. So you can select your kind, whatever you need to select for your uh, device. And that's Daytona model, uh, uh, model two working for the Thrustmaster. Okay, let me uh, do what I gotta do, test it out. And my next video will be on driving and showing you that it's working within the link system off of my uh, my arcade. As you know, this is it's a mess. Like I said, I'm testing a lot of stuff. That's my four player arcade run by CoinOps. And over here, you know, I have my Thrustmaster wheel bar style, my bar seat. It's a little of a mess. I've been going through spare parts trying to build some stuff because, you know, we all stuck in the house. Okay, I'm babbling. Ed Titus 2, I'm out.